I'm at the DZ. Hazards are on. Waiting on. Asset has arrived. Nearly scared the shit out of me too. These are the coordinates? So what's the exit plan? Do I keep the car running or drive around the block while you're inside? Mason doesn't tell me this shit. Trust me, bro. I don't want to talk to you either. But for safety, I gotta know. Just leave the car running. This won't take long. Understood. How close do you want me? Stop about a hundred yards out. I know what you've got in your door. Do you so much as twitch, I pull the trigger. Hands on the wheel, eyes forward. You know, it really disappoints me how much faith you put in Santiago, that fucking weasel. Omar? Say, ditch the envelope and stay with me today. You ready to run away to Minnesota? Your obsession with the Midwest is ridiculous. I could think of at least 150 better places we could go. Well, we ain't going to the South because, you know, and Mason and Carlos have influenced on both coasts. So, but to the Midwest. That is so lame. Think about Europe. What about London, Italy, Paris? <laughs> as fun as that sounds, um, Santiago says I gotta do this one. Yeah, look at this. When has he ever asked you for something like this? He wants you alone? Why? I don't know, but I'm not trying to fuck around and find out what happens if I ignore him. You remember Slim? Mm hmm He damn near beat him to death when he messed up a food order. It's insane. No fucking way. What is it? I don't even know why you're considering telling him this. We should just up and leave. Yeah, well, I don't know. Maybe because he's been my friend my entire life? But you heard what Carlos said. Yeah, I heard what Carlos said. And I don't care. Maybe this is his way of getting out, too. You guys good? Yeah, it's just Jace is being a brat about visiting my mom in a couple weeks. Yeah, of course he is. Where's Livy? Uh, she's chilling on the couch. Not feeling too hot. Oh, you can have my seat. I'm gonna check on her. Thanks. You need to stop pitching that girl off before she ends up leaving or killing your ass. Yeah, well, you need to stop dressing like a watermelon. 
These are all I fucking had. Fucking watermelon. Do you ever think about getting out? You're really gonna bring down the party like that? I'm serious. <laughs> no, I love blowing people's brains out and looking over my shoulder every day. You want a beer, Rosie? I'm good, babe. Cigarette? Have you ever seen me smoke? Just trying to be polite, damn. Those things are gonna kill you. Hmm. Better them than someone hired to do it. Hmm. Enjoy your slow death then. I don't know, Omar. Isn't this life getting old? What am I gonna do? Can you imagine me in a business suit selling cars and tricking suburban moms into thinking that leather seats are a good idea in a minivan? You don't have to do Or, or, slinging meat at a deli and wrapping sandwiches until my days expire. That'd be cute, right? So you have thought about it? I have. And I came to a conclusion. People like us don't get out. We either move up or six feet down. I talked to Carlos. Did you now? He said, if I leave the state, I'm free to go. And you believed him? What is your plan? Look. I either stay here and get caught up and killed on a job, or Carlos decides I'm no longer of use because someone cheaper comes along. I want out, Omar. Rosie, too. We can't keep doing this forever. You're lucky Livy's not on the payroll. We're scared, man. Eyes forward. What the fuck is going on? Why are you back in town, JC? Nah, man. I need you to tell me why you're in my backseat pointing your fucking gun at me. I won't ask again. No bullshit or I end this fucked up reunion the fun way. Oh, so this is fun to you. You love this. Don't get cute with me, fucker. Hey, okay, Jesus Christ, man. I've been running jobs for Mason, okay? After I left Carlos, I traveled across a few state lines, but I couldn't get a footing anywhere. All right? Happy? So you come back and work for Mason? There's no jobs for people with our rap sheets, Omar. I tried! You know, I used to think you were smart. And now I know you're not. What the fuck? What did I tell you before you left? Oh, I know. I know. But I couldn't keep doing it, man. Rosie and I tried the suburban life. But we were surrounded by people with no idea about the terrible things we had done. It wasn't right, man. You don't think this is fucked up for me, too? I gotta do this bullshit now because you don't know how to listen to me. Or Santiago. Can we figure something out? So this is it, then? Cleanup details? They want everything gone. They know about your safe house, too. Fuck. Wait. Listen. At the safe house, there's a box. About three paces from the northeast wall, underneath the floorboards. It's cash. A lot of it. Can you get it to Rosie? You know I can't do that. Omar, I swear to God, if there's anything I ask you to break the rules for, it is this! Please! Fuck, fine, fine, fuck. You and Livy married yet? No, but I'm gonna pop the question real soon though. <laughs> good, good. She deserves it. Been with your bitch ass long enough. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. <laughs> Asshole. 
I wish I could be there to see it. Such is life, I guess. Yeah. I love you.